Hey everyone, this is Liz here and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a general reading for the week of May 4th through to the 11th, 2021. Today I'm using the Rider weight Tarot. Um, here I'm going to pull an Oracle card too which is Indigo Angel Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue and Charles Virtue. And these are my clarifiers, just a little deck of Rider Waite Smith. And we'll get straight into the reading. Okay, so the first card to come out is the tower and the tower is unexpected changes and it's a bit of a shake up, something unexpected is going to rock the foundations. Let's pull Let's see what the next cards are. Just see what story is coming. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. And this is a earth sign male. He is very grounded. And he's on a Clydesdale. Clydesdales are very slow. So he's very slow at making his decisions and his re with his reactions. And the third card is Justice. So we've got two major arcanas. And Justice is all about... Um, being in balance, karma, and the next card is the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is teamwork, working on a project with help from others, building something, I'm just going to pull some clarifiers for each one. So the tower has the queen of swords. And then we've got three that just came out for the knight of pentacles, which is Eight of Coins, Six of Wands, and the Emperor. What does Justice have to say? Queen of Wands. Oracle cards we've got. 
So the first Oracle card is Manifest. And I'll read what the book says. The little book. Manifest. As an indigo, you have innate manifestation abilities that this card guides you to use to improve the situation you're inquiring about. The act of manifestation is more than just dreaming about what you desire in life. It's deciding that your dreams have already come to fruition on the spirit level and trusting that with divine timing they will appear in material form. This card asks you to be aware of how much your energy, your thoughts and feelings affects the reality around you and to realise the importance of believing in yourself. When you're using your natural manifestations, power, you feel complete trust and know that every new day is preparing you for the next chapter in life. Wow. And the next one is self-care. self-care is make sure you're not giving to the point of creating lack in your own life as an indigo you feel compassion for the world because of your divine mission as a result you sometimes become generous to a fault you may not see this as a problem. However, this card is telling you that you must be aware of your own needs in life. Make sure that you're not doing enough for yourself. Make sure that you're doing enough for yourself so that you don't suffer due to the generosity. Allow yourself to feel how great it is to have your needs met. So, in other words, the amount that you give to others, you have to give to you back to yourself. You have to put yourself first because when you fill your own cup up, then you can give to others and not be depleted energetically. Make sure that you're doing enough for yourself so that you don't suffer due to your generosity. Allow yourself to feel how great it is to have your needs met and trust that those around you are guided by their angels to ensure that all of theirs are taken care of. Two, you are here on earth to help, but you're not everyone's problem solver. The greatest gift you can give others is to ask their angels to awaken and guide them to their unique purpose. Oh wow, how beautiful and powerful is that? Um, so I'm just gonna focus on the cards for a minute and see what messages come. Okay, so I feel like this week there is a sudden change around the position that you hold at work or within your career. So the tower is the sudden change and it's rocking the foundations. And the Knight of Pentacles is the, 
the, the person at work that I'm feeling that is working on a project or this is at work. He's very successful and I feel like the sudden change is that there could be a job offer at another company or you're being promoted at the place that you are at now. And I feel like the justice is the, con the new contract that you will be given within your workplace or your career or job or business, home business, whatever it is, it's to do with work and career. And I feel like there's a queen of wands that's involved here too. Um, this could be a woman that is a fire sign. It doesn't necessarily have to be, but she is very creative and she is a leader. She's got a lot of drive and she's very ambitious. And I feel like Maybe for some of you, you could have been going alone, but now the new job situation or offer or contract that's been given to you is putting you in a leadership role and you're teaching or you're working as a team but you're no longer on your own. And as much as this can be uncomfortable because it's shaken the foundations with the tower here, you have the strength to do this. You can do this. You've just got to believe in yourself. And at first it could be a little bit rocky. You might feel like you're not on stable ground with the two of coins here, but you will get used to it. It's just because it's new. And I feel like with this indigo card here, it's something that you've actually manifested and you've been wanting, you want been wanting this change to happen and it's happening. But you've got to remember to have self-care. I mean, it's very easy to forget this. Uh, I tend to forget this a lot. But self-care, giving back to yourself and filling your own cup up gives you more energy to give back to the world. So whatever the situation is with career, business, a home business, but I feel like this week in May, May 4th to May 11th, there's a big change happening and it's putting you into more of a leadership role with more responsibilities. There could be documents and contracts being signed. And I do see you being the leader and working with others. So whatever that's, of course, this is not going to be this reading is just a general reading. It's not going to be for everybody, but it's general energy is that there's sudden change. You're not going alone with your career, business, whatever you're working on. Could be a home business or anything. There is more of a leader. You're being more of a leader and you are successful at this. Um, 
with the justice card here, I can see documents, contract, some sort of legal procedure around this energy. And you're definitely becoming the leader and working with others. Um, and it's very successful, I feel. And it's not going to be comfortable at first, but you have the power and the strength to do, to do this. And it could really make you feel a bit unbalanced, but you've got this because we've got the six of ones here and you know, there's success and achievement and people are praising you. So it looks like a good week of change and it could be in the workplace, um, could be with your home business, whatever career or whatever you're working on. That's the energy that I see for you guys in the week of May 4th to 11th. So I hope this resonated with you. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next week. Bye.